Happy New Year, Dakota Baptist Convention family. I'm Josh Brown. I am the pastor of Redeeming Grace Church in Rapid City, and I also get the privilege of serving as your DBC president for 2024. Uh, one of the responsibilities I have as the DBC president is to select the theme for the coming year's meeting, and I have decided to choose the theme, We Always Pray, from 2 Thessalonians chapter 1. Uh, the reason I have chosen that theme is just I have felt convicted myself to make more of a priority of prayer. Uh, I am very quick to make plans, to cast a vision, to get to work on things, to try to mobilize people to do things. I'm not always quick to pray. And so I think I end up doing a lot of ministry in my own strength and, uh, and, and, and miss out both on intimacy with God through prayer, but then also the power of God uh, that he might be interested in doing more um, with, uh, with us than, than I could ever do on my own. He could do more in 10 seconds than I could do in a thousand years. And so um, I've just felt the conviction to go to him in prayer uh, uh, a lot more. And I would love for that to be the theme of my life. That's just my instinct is to pray, to just say, I always pray. I always pray about things that are going on. What's in my mind, I'm always praying uh, for those things. I would love, to, I aspire to be able to say that. And I aspire for my church to be able to say that. And I aspire for our whole convention of churches to be able to say, we always pray. When we see an email, when we hear a need, when we have a conversation, we always pray. We pray for one another as churches. We pray for one another as people, as disciples. We pray for the lost. We pray for the world. Um, and so I, I would love for to just emphasize that in this coming year and just see what God might do in answer to prayer. He says, you have not because you ask not, which is just an invitation to, hey, Pray, just pray about stuff. And so I've been led to 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter 1, verses 11 and 12 for this theme. And he says, to this end, and the end he's talking about is Jesus' return and him making all of the injustices right. It says, to this end, we always pray for you that our God may make you worthy of his calling and may fulfill every resolve for good and every work of faith by his power, so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so I love that. I love that. That's his instinct. In light of the fact that Jesus is coming, he's going to make all things right, why would we not ask in prayer, and why would we play scared? Let's go after it. And so he, he says that he is praying that they would be worthy of his calling, that they would become godly and more useful. What a great thing to pray for one another as pastors, as believers, as churches, to go, I pray that your church would be godlier than it was before and more useful to the kingdom than ever before. And it also says, and may fulfill every resolve for good and every work of faith by his power. Uh, so every good resolve that you have for church, every dream that you have uh, to glorify God, every every everything that you aspire to, he says, I'm going to pray that God would say yes to those desires. What a cool thing to pray for us as a DBC, to know with the desires that we have for our churches, how we want God to work, and to go, I'm going to pray that God fulfills that good desire in you. And that every work of faith, every work done in faith, that we would be infused with his power for his glory. And then that's the bottom line, that, in, that, you may be, that he may be glorified in you and you in him according to his grace in the Lord Jesus Christ. So I would love for us to pray for those things, that we would be godlier as people and more useful in his hands, that every resolve for good that we have as a convention, as churches, as individuals, that God would say yes to those things and that we would see people come to faith in Christ, see our churches grow, uh, see uh, all the things that we desire to happen. We pray that God would say yes to a lot of those things in order that his grace and his glory might be magnified about, among us. So one of the ways that I'm hoping that this theme plays out is that I would like to see us as pastors pray more with and for each other. So I am uh, throwing out there a Zoom link uh, and I will be on every Sunday night at 8 p.m. that I can. I just have it to be always there. We always pray. And so that's just going to be available to pastors 8 o'clock Mountain Time on Sunday nights, this Zoom link. And let's just briefly share some prayer requests and pray. I'm not expecting every pastor to be there every time. But just as an outworking of this theme in order to overcome some of the geography and loneliness and some of the let's bear one another's burdens by prayer and with technology we can do that. So I'm going to throw that out there and let's just see how it goes. Eight o'clock mountain time um, on Sunday nights. Click, jump on that Zoom link, pastors. Let's share about how the Lord has worked, what we're discouraged about. Let's water the seeds of the gospel that we that we scattered that morning through preaching. Let's share our insecurities, our doubts, our struggles, our fears. Our, let's share in the joys together. And let's try to overcome some of the distance and geography and loneliness by prayer. 
It seems like that's what Paul does is uh, try to encourage one another. It seems like he feasts and is nourished through trials by the prayers of these people that he's been discipling. Let's do the same for each other. So I'm just throwing that out there, pastors. Eight o'clock, Mountain Time, a Zoom link. Let's jump on. Let's share some things. Let's pray. We won't make it super long. We'll try to figure it out as we go. But uh, we always pray. That's the theme of 2024. And uh, maybe this uh, pastor Zoom prayer time might be a way that we could take a step in that direction. All right. I love you. Thanks for letting me lead you this year. And let's pray for each other together. Amen.